Robert Gagne's nine events of instruction make up an effective instructional design model that addresses the conditions necessary for learning. There are nine events in the model. Gain attention, inform learners of objectives, simulate recall of prior learning, present the content, provide learning guidance, elicit performance, provide feedback, assess performance, and enhance retention and transfer to the job. In this video, we will be focusing on the fifth event, provide learning guidance. In order for learning to take place, it is necessary to provide learners with tools to help them absorb and recall the content you are presenting. This can take the form of job aids, examples, case studies, analogies, mnemonic devices, and more. Let's say you are once again trying to teach your children how to put away their clothes to help keep their rooms tidy. You may find yourself constantly reminding them to put dirty clothes in the hamper and hang up or fold clothes that can be worn again. If these reminders just aren't working, you might consider a different type of learning guidance, like a job aid that breaks down the steps of the task visually that they can keep in their room. Thinking outside the box and creating something original and interesting just might do the trick. Or perhaps you've just taught a group of grad students how to do a SWOT analysis. You could then give them a case study to review so that they can see how it works in action. This would be much more effective than simply teaching them the principles and walking away. To succeed at Event 5, Provide Learning Guidance, you need to once again put yourself in your learner's shoes. And if you've taught this content before, think back to what's been most helpful for your learners to absorb and recall this content. Once you have provided learning guidance, you will be ready to move on to Gagne's sixth event, Elicit Performance. We'll cover that in our next video. Thanks for watching.